All right, guys. So today we're going to start a little bit different this digital marketing class. We're going to start by asking some questions, okay? First of all, who of you guys here feel like, like you are wasting your time during some classes here in university, not this class in particular, like classes in general in university? Okay, one, two. Okay, okay, okay. Who of you guys feels like is using your time consciously, like you're doing the right stuff, the stuff that you should be doing, like right now. Or maybe in another way, you are trying to differentiate yourself from the person that you have right next to you. Please raise your hands if you think you're doing something different. Okay. The same questions, the very same questions I've been asking around all around Spain, around the universities, asking students about what do they feel they're doing with their careers, with their time, and the answers are always pretty similar. People are, most of the time, stopped. They are not doing a lot of stuff different from the other people in their class. And this has a very easy explanation. This is because we live really good as university students. We have literally no financial pressure. Our parents usually pay for our bills. We don't have any big uh, responsibilities on, on our shoulders. We have a good life as university students. And also, this is mixed with something that I feel is really annoying and really uh, dangerous, which is the advice that we get from older people that they say, you should enjoy your university years because they are the best years of your life. What a spectacularly bad piece of advice because profiting now is one of the possibilities, but I want to give you another completely different viewpoint on this one. I want to show you the other side of the coin. And today, in today's session, we are going to learn how to differentiate ourselves and try to do things differently. I basically want you guys to don't end up living a miserable existence, which is a very hard sentence, but that's the way I, I decided to name this talk, which is how to live a miserable life, because we're going to use this psychology trick, which is called inversion thinking. Instead of telling you how to be successful, because I'm not successful my, myself, we're gonna talk about how to be miserable. The easy ways, easy steps that you can absolutely take if you wanna live a miserable life or a miserable existence. This is a concept by Alex Ormosi and Charlie Munger, which are two millionaires that are my top references in, in YouTube, and I hope you guys like it. Originally, this talk was going to be about a project that I'm building, an entrepreneurship project, which is called Skill Hunting. This project is basically a community of young students, young, young entrepreneurs, that have ambitions, that want to meet other people that share the same kind of uh, yeah, ambitions or the same hobbies, that want to develop their, their soft and hard skills. And this community is also to mix this kind of young people and also give them the resources, the people, the directors, CEOs, uh, important people from the entrepreneurship world to meet each other. And that's how skill hunting is built. We have managed to get amazing brands on this project. I don't know how we, how we did it, if I'm honest. And originally, as I was telling you, when I talked with Rahel for the first time, I told her like some data that we were doing about the stuff. We were investing more than $100 every day in Facebook ads, for example. We were doing some great campaigns. I showed her some of the stuff we were doing, and she was pretty amazed, and, and she told me, you can maybe talk a little bit about it in class, but guys, I honestly decided that I'd rather, I'd rather talk about uh, some stuff that may be more interesting for you and some stuff that I've learned along the journey of building this massive project. The aim of this talk is very easy, which is maybe inspire one of the people that is in this uh, classroom right now or maybe one of the people that's watching this in YouTube just one person is enough for me if I have one person that starts doing stuff that starts moving enough that's a uh, complete success for me so maybe you guys get inspired by this so let's start right into it let's go with the three main points that I want to make here so three main ways to make your life miserable do what everyone else is doing easy way to get into this miserable life. Keep going to boring classes, keep stuck in the academic world, don't go to the outside world, which, which is absolutely terrifying, where people and where real life exists. Just keep here, stay here, don't, don't look after what is actually real, and never learn any of these valuable soft and hard skills that uh, we're going to talk like selling, leadership, communication. Just keep in the uh, academic world, that's a great way to um, have a miserable life. Or if you don't want to go this path, you can do another thing, which is learn things other people can't do. Learn things other people can't do because this is the key to become irreplaceable, or at least 
less replaceable because in this future that we're going to this marketplace where AI is a big thing and we have to try and differentiate ourselves, but when you are absolutely irreplaceable, you are going to have job for a job forever. And if you were now to go into the world, into the real world, into the marketplace and ask one enterprise, please, can you hire me? What would that enterprise tell you? You are useless to me. You are probably someone that I have to make you learn about what we do here. You probably don't have any high income skill. You don't have any kind of easy way to make yourself a living in the marketplace. Right now, I think there's one skill that we all can learn that it's absolutely beautiful and it's absolutely useful, which is selling, the arts of sales. This has been probably the most profitable skill that I could have learned and I want you guys to, to, to think about it because for me it was an absolutely life changer. All the people here in this class are selling all the time. We are selling with the way we look, we are selling when we are for example at a party. When you are at a party for example when you are selling yourself to that guy, to that girl that you like, you are always selling. But the thing is let's introduce these concepts of selling into our professional lives. And for me sales as I'm, I was telling you is like a life insurance. Life insurances is not anymore this title where you can say that you were um, educated in a very recognized institution now. Nah, that's not in the next five minutes left? Wow, we didn't even start. <laughs> Let's go fast about this, about selling. Guys, think about it. It's really useful and it's a way, great way to learn a high income skill. It's a safe way to not living a miserable life. And also, this phrase, this sentence that is also stuck in my mind, do what you must do not what you're expected to do because all the people around us, our family, our friends, everyone is letting you know what you should be doing. But it's not what that people think that you have to do because they love you and they want, you, they want the best for you. It's what you believe inside of yourself, what you think is inside of you that you have to be doing right now. That's what I believe is the best way to have a good existence or maybe not have a miserable life. Let's go to the second point because we don't have a lot of time here. Second way of living a miserable life. Avoid working on what matters most. This one is a really good one. Work all day long, stay busy doing all the stuff that you can, tick those boxes, but at the end of the day, don't do any activity that's going to move the ball forward. A lot of people here working a lot, like I'm doing a lot of stuff, I'm really stressed out, but at the end of the day, what have you accomplished? Have you done that little thing, that thing that you know is the only thing that you have to do today, that is the most important thing that you have to accomplish today? And I wanted to share with you guys real quick this metaphor that changed my life, which is the metaphor of the ladder. This metaphor is basically uh, composed of three main components. First of all, uh, the intelligence, which is this side of the ladder, the discipline, this side of the ladder, and how smart you are. There's a difference between being intelligent and being smart. Usually people that don't have like a lot of economic power, they are very smart. They find ways. They have this mindset about looking at the gaps in the marketplace so I can pay, uh, so I can uh, bring my services onto the table. Being smart is being active, is being proactive. It's very different than intelligence. It's, intelligence is more or less relationed with genetic component, with IQ. There are different types of intelligences as well. You know, there's artistic intelligence, language intelligence, social intelligence. But what I wanted to share with you with this metaphor of the ladder if the, is that if we lack one of these steps, it's, it's impossible to go up. For example, if you lack intelligence, if you lack a minimum base, it's just impossible that you go up. That's the same with discipline. This is the, the case of the football player that's absolutely brilliant. He has some magic in his feet that nobody else does. He's got like a super shot, whatever, but he doesn't work the hours that he should work. He, he lacks the discipline, so he's not gonna be able to jump to the top. And what I feel is the most common case here in this class or maybe in this entire university is this third one where we have intelligent and disciplined people because every single one in this class uh, has, <laughs> sorry, Rahil, um, every single one in this class has a score of 13 out of 14 in the EVA, in the Selectividad, which is brilliant. Not many people can achieve that. So we have intelligent and disciplined people here, but we don't have this smart part of the ladder and we should start seeking for those activities, being proactive for this kind of stuff. And I want to share you real quick this story about how to be smart that may inspire you that happened to me during the event. Jaime Garrastazu, which is CEO of, of Pompeii, he told me that he wanted to film with us. We were doing some kind of strategy for the communication plan, won't get into detail, but he told me he couldn't really film with us because he was really busy, which is 
understandable. He's the CEO of a big company, of a very important company. So one day, 8.15 in the morning, he texts me, he watches me, and he says, Rafa, I can film with you for 30 minutes at 9 p.m. Do you want to do it now or maybe next week? And I was like, Jaime, I'm there. Called my friend Perigo and I said, Perigo, we have to go. And we were there at 9 p.m., at 9 a.m., sorry, and we were filming with him and everything went fine. And Jaime told me, Rafa, you did the, th the right thing there because you have to be prepared when the moment comes, when the opportunity comes. Don't let the opportunity go. It comes once. And that's about being smart, about looking for the opportunity when it comes, just right into it. So to finish with this first point, avoid working uh, in ourselves, avoid working in what matters most is an easy way to get a miserable life. Let's go for the third point because we're running out of time. I think we already run out of time. But third point, start tomorrow and wait for these perfect conditions. There's never gonna be perfect conditions, guys. When I started this project, I told my guys, my, my team, my team of four people, we were four at the beginning, now we're 20. Guys, we're gonna do an event 10th of February, no matter what happens, 10th of February. And this is a lesson by one of my mentors, Maria Benjumea, that told me, Rafa, you pick a day and you don't move it. Like, you can always move it in, the, in time and it's always gonna be better to move it a little bit more, a little bit more. You gotta select, okay, you feel comfortable with this day? Go for it. Don't think more about it. You will find the, the solutions, you will find the way to, to put the thing together so that you can go and do a great event on 10th of February. And so you have to start now if you wanna try and live a, a good life, I think. Let's make a quick recap. In order to stay poor or have a miserable existence, do what everyone else is doing, avoid doing what matters most, and start tomorrow. Easy ways to have a miserable existence. But if we go into reverse, as I was telling you at the beginning of the, of the talk, if we go in reverse and use this inversion thinking, the three keys that I feel that are most important to achieve success and what I'm using right now in my life are be replaceable, do what matters most, and obviously start today. Thank you very much, guys.